Morning, welcome back. Quick, answer this question. Based on how I look, how old do you think I am? I don't know. 27? Such love and care. I have no idea. If that question caused you to think, is this a trap? Well, yes. Nothing good ever comes from asking people you know questions like this. And even worse, when you go to the town square and ask everyone in the village, Of what quantity hath mine brow aged through this millennia? Someone commented on my last video, You look 50, but 20 years old. I don't know how to explain. Which caused me to audibly uh -oh. gasp and faint in my nightgown. Ooh. Just kidding. But it did make me go... Oh, the topic of aging always made me kind of nervous. When people would ask how old I was, I'd throw out a random number because I thought it was funny. But now that I'm 780 years old, it's not that bad. <laughs> it really felt like a new portion of my brain unlocked itself after it finished growing. So is aging a bad thing? Well, yes. Scientifically, every minute, every second, every TikTok you scroll past, is you getting closer to your assigned human expiration date. So <laughs> this is stressful. Side effects of aging are you get tired faster. It's no how about dying. That's the side effect of aging, right? Like you die. I feel like that's probably the worst one. No matter how much you sleep, or the best one, depending on your perspective. Back aren't as supple as they used to be, and your face. Ooh, let's not get started on your face. But what about personal happiness? Shouldn't that be the most important thing, other than your looks? True. I've seen senior citizens happier than ever compared to us on our serotonin binges and 60 hour mm -hmm. screen times. But who cares about that? You have no worth in society if you look old and gross. The nerve of some people to show us wrinkles, crow's feet, sunspots. Are those pores at 30 years old? Wait. Oh. How old are you supposed to look when you're 30? We see so many retouched, cosmetic, procedured, optimal selfie angled faces all the time. I don't think we even know what a 20, 30, 40 year old is supposed to look like now. It's almost. Well, it, it's also like one of the reasons is people age differently. For example, hair is a very big factor. If you don't have a receding hairline, you're going to look way younger. That's a huge factor as if everyone ages at different rates depending mm -hmm. on their genes and environment. You know what yeah. having teenage acne and bad skin did to me? It made me put on sunscreen like my life depended on it. Washing my face and doing a skincare routine became my version of breathing. Look at me. That's crazy because for me all it made me do was shave the acne off with a razor and then it randomly went away whenever I was in senior year. I don't know why actually being productive like I said I would. Keeping up with routines is really the best way to learn things. And by thanking our sponsor, Skillshare. By joining the largest online learning community for creatives, Must be the you'll razor, get access yeah. to a wide depth of topics to choose from, with stackable lessons that are easy to pick mm. up. Even a beginner can start learning at their own pace. Illustration, I have some cooking, acne scars all the way to the my, business my, side of things. There's a nice variety of niche but interests for everyone. Last time I talked tell. about life and how it feels like it's permanently stuck on two times speed. Not mm -hmm. sure if it's the age, but it's getting harder to remember all the things I did throughout the year when I look back. I'm in the process of taking the class Document Your Life by Nathaniel Drew, and it's been pretty cool going to places with a new mindset of how I'm going to remember it. I started nasty taking acne, at least yeah. one picture when I hang out with someone or when I attend events, so I have a little piece of a memory I can piece together later on. Learning paths are a great way to keep track of your progress, especially if you're a goal-oriented person. You get to experience curated high-quality classes while discovering new teachers in your chosen subject. As someone that makes content using my little editing programs that do take time to get the hang of, Skillshare was the place I went to when I had questions about Adobe software, specifically with Photoshop for editing my thumbnails. I'm still picking up new things after years of editing. Even this Photoshop learning path taught me some new tricks. Want to start your learning journey today? The first 500 people to use my link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So why are we talking about- You know how much of fucking Adobe like membership to Photoshop is now? It's crazy. No wonder people pirate that shit. Oh my God. Aging all of a sudden. It's nuts. Well, honey. <laughs> The millennials and Gen Z are fighting again. There's a new trend of people posting videos of themselves asking the internet, Hey guys, based on my looks- She looks 33. How old do you think I am? If you have a fit sense, you know that feelings are about to get hurt. And it all started with this TikTok. Somebody recently told me that they thought I was 36 years old. And I'm not, just to be clear. 37? I'm not even not close close ish i'm not 36 do i look 36 how old are you i mean i definitely have gray hair but like Jesus. spoiler alert well I that's really what it is i mean you have gray hair if people are gonna think you're fucking old it's really just that simple. Yeah, it, it, it's not crazy. I searched up the lore and she is actually 29 years old which makes us that's not so bad 
29. Okay. That's it. No, it could be way worse. I mean, it's not good. It, it's not good, but it's not that bad. Look, I've seen plenty of girls I went to high school with. It fell off way harder than that. I just keep it a real. It turns out so bad. Around the same age. Look. Let's just say if she offered me a little snack from the bottom of her purse, I would take it with no hesitation. Yeah. Oh, she's a mom of boys. I'll do it. Yeah. I knew it. Having kids will stress age you like crazy. Yeah. Like if I take my glasses off and you like really look at my face. Do I look 36 years old? It's because uh, the wrinkles on her cheeks. That, that's 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 the reason why. That that that's the reason why people think she looks old. I guess I could. I don't know. I've seen 36 yeah. year olds that look younger than me, but I don't feel like I even dress like a 36 year old. I don't feel like I give off 36 year old vibes. Well, how are they gonna know that just by looking at you? Well, I guess you dress like I mean. In my mind and body i still feel like i'm 16 so good for you i mean sometimes i hurt like i'm 36 years old but sometimes my knees hurt you know oh. i'm 36 but like i still feel like a teenager looking at the comments they also thought she was around 36 or possibly even older you look older than 36 this is 41 000 hearts God, that's 41. Sorry, not 41. Uh, uh, dyslexia, that shit. 14,000 demons, man. God, that's horrible. Lee, you seem so sweet. I don't want to answer. I'm 36, and you're describing it like it's old. Respectfully. It is yes, old. Fuck, it is old. Like, I'm 33. I'm sorry, guys, but it's fucking old. Like, you are fucking old if you're 33. Now, I can't go and say that to my dad because he's 70 fucking 7. Okay? No, I can't say that to him. But, like, it, it, on Twitch? Online? Yeah, I'm old, man. Absolutely. This is half your wife, though. Yeah, it doesn't mean that, yeah, you're still old. On and Twitch, sure, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think I'm also in a pretty young space, you know? Yeah, there's a lot of, a lot of young people around me, so I feel old. Like, I remember even, uh, I went back to, uh, I took a break from college for, like, two years because my mom got sick. And I came back, and I felt really weird because I felt like everybody around me, I was a junior at, at the university I went to at the time, uh, everybody around me looked way younger than me. And it felt kind of weird. And that was even by two years. It really is. Funny the way she said that. There is literally nothing wrong with looking older than your age. If you're mm -hmm. 20 and you somehow look 60, that might be a medical issue and you might need a lifestyle change. But yeah. aesthetic-wise, that's how some people just look sometimes. She did, however, go to the e-shop and purchase a new skin option and ask the audience if the change in style makes her look younger. Okay, against my better judgment, we're gonna- Nope. You got gray hair, that's the problem. I- yeah, I feel like she looks older now because of the hair. I do this again. Back in December, I asked, do I look 36 years old? Um, upon inspecting the video, it was just not a very flattering video. My hair was pulled back. I got bad news. You know, there were a lot of things working against me. I got me, bad news. If you will. Um, but I see a lot of Gen Z. Not good news. Asking, how old they look and it's really trendy right now um and i feel like maybe i started the trend i don't know i don't think so but <laughs> well i've seen plenty of people i've known for a while get older oh my god you know what's the worst thing for people whenever they get older getting fat that's what really gets you getting fat because you can see them and it Oh, it's not good, man. Fat and old. I think fat is like a plus five. And smoking? Oh, God, smoking. Yes, exactly. And bald. Yeah, as a fat fuck, I agree. Yeah. Gray hair? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I guess that's a factor, too. I gained 70 pounds after eating 35. Well, unless you had a kid, that's a problem, right? Yeah, bad posture. Yeah, it's just... Oh, God. Dry skin? Oh, I have very dry skin. 
Anyway, do I still look 36? No, um, you look 46. There is nothing wrong with looking a little older than your age. She does look slightly younger than before, I'll give her that. While you can't <laughs> always change your face, isn't it neat how much influence our styling, the way we speak, has on people's perception of our age? Like, we can shapeshift in real life. Catch me cosplaying as a 70-year-old man so I can get a senior's discount. In my opinion, she went from a 36-year-old to a... 33 year old. If she dyed her gray hairs, changed up her glasses and That's style, the there's potential to look 29 for sure. She yeah. wasn't too hurt by the comments, which is good. When you're dealing with the internet, you gotta have thick skin. Vsauce made a really great video about this topic. He talks about- Well, it's also like, I mean, you don't have to have thick skin. I mean, I'm not insulting her. It's just, this is my opinion. You ask somebody their opinion and then they lie to you. They're, they're not helping you there. You want an honest truth? You want people to tell you that you're a good boy why people used to look so old compared to what we look like now. I definitely watched it more than once and referenced this it in water a past video. And smoking. It's not uncommon to think that there's something more grown up about the way people used to be. To look back and think that people seemed older at a younger age than they do now. He said I that think a big factor for that, for the women, is the fact of the hairstyles. Because people look at those 80s done up hairstyles as like being old. So there's like a psychological component to it. The big hair. I think if they had like just, you know, your your regular old fashioned 2009 scene girl haircut or, you know, whatever the fuck girls have now for high school, I think it'd be fine. Part of the reason has to do with their style. There's not a dated style, yeah. About what your parents wore when they were teenagers, but because we associate these clothes and accessories as something our grandmas and grandmas exactly. used to wear, it defaults as old for us. When we see gray, curly, poodle esque hairstyles on yeah. someone, whoa, that's a grandma. That's what Mima was rocking back in the day. Yeah, wait, why am I talking like Mima? But book an appointment at Dry Bar for there a you go. and a full coverage makeover at Mac, you get that sweet, mm -hmm. sweet seniors discount and a fresh, trendy look for bingo night. I mean, yep. They did eradicate all the wrinkles with Photoshop. But even just a hairstyle change can make such a big difference. According to millennials, we've set the new standard of aging. I'm 37 years old and I'm about to be 38 this year. I'm about to give you some examples of what it looked like to be my age back when I was young. Okay. Al Bundy is 39 years old. Damn. Damn. George Costanda, 31 years old. Fuck. We gotta figure this out, man. We really gotta, like, I gotta, I, I gotta do, so, like, this is just, this is getting to be a situation. I think Miz is using hair products, by the way. I think he's using, like, Fenstraid or something like that. Because, like, his bald ass never had that much hair back in the day. Like, he 100% is. He probably won't say it, but I bet he fucking is. He's taking vitamins for his hair. He's taking something. Because he's gotten more hair. He cheating. Look at this entire cast of Cheers right now. Look at them. Literally, I'm older than 31. What? 21? Holy, are you fucking kidding me? Is that Woody Harrelson? 35? 35? Bro, that's 65. Holy shit. What the fuck is going on? 34? This stressing me out. These people in this photo. I'm a full decade older than Kelsey Grammer. If I rolled up to your house and I was like, oh, I brought my grandpa. He's 35. I'm 37. I'm literally older than him. These yeah. two are both supposed to be 45 in Father of the Bride. Like, there's a I world I mean, to be fair, this dude has had fucking gray hair. I d would not recognize him if he didn't have gray hair. All of us, Steve all Martin. three yeah, of us yeah, went Steve to the Martin. same elementary school. That is actually insane. I'm also close in age and older than some of these people. Would I have mm -hmm. looked like this if I was born 40 years ago? What were y'all eating in the 80s? The perm solution at the perm store? Some millennials were born- No, it's not about diet either. A lot of it's genetics. Like, because if it was about just diet, like, I would be at least looking like 55. Like, I'm talking about, I live off of, let's see, let's see, what do we have nearby? Uh, beef jerky, um, this is a, uh, this is, this, this entire thing was a piece of chocolate, I ate the entire thing in two days. Um, oh, we have a, a Dr. Pepper over here, it's a big thing of that. And then, uh, what else? Oh, I've got these, oh, I'm out? Oh, fuck. Um... Shit.
No, it, it's just like, look, it, it's, it's fucking RNG, man. Aren't you 45? Shut the fuck up. ...into a time when social media was just starting to... I do to not look 40. The only reason why I look old at all is because of my hair. Okay? Like, I fix the fucking hair, it'd be fine. We're living in the information age where you can share and learn anything you want thanks to the power of the internet. We were filling 35, our heads with uh -huh. YouTube tutorials and articles about top 10 ways to prevent aging. Beauty gurus were oh, teaching God. their young audience about how the sun makes you age like milk. And really nailing it into our heads, that sunscreen is the lifeblood for looking youthful. Everyone was starting to get access to a computer or a smartphone at some point. Like you can't look up top 3 ways to look max your jawline on a landline back in the day. It's like trying to learn via one textbook versus yeah. having access to Google. So in terms of having the knowledge to start preventative skincare and avoid things that age you, millennials had an advantage there. But the thing is, not everyone had a Michelle Fond dermatologist in their life. That's why we have some millennials who have never touched, smelt, or seen a sunscreen before, while the other- I've never put on sunscreen. I always liked getting sunburned so I could peel the skin off of my body. I thought it was fun. It was like whenever I would put, um, what do you call it? Uh, I, I would put Elmer's glue on my hand and then peel it off. It was kind of like having it all over me. It's just the way it is. I can't live without it and probably has it running through their veins. I'm like the opposite of the uh, how old do I look chick. If I were to ask people how old I looked, they'd probably make me feel better. Because when I look in the mirror, I'm like, girl, you look 52. Yeah. With my Gordon Ramsay forehead and my, what is this? I'm not, mm -mm. my mirror is meaner to me than people on TikTok could be. Exactly. Yeah. It's like people call me bald. Like it's going to make me mad. Bitch, I have a mirror. You think I haven't seen that? Like, what, is this the first time I found this out? Like, yeah, obviously, bro. Like, because I'm 36. Mm -hmm. But I, I should have worn sunscreen. Yeah, sunscreen is really important, but speaking of Gordon Ramsay, some people... Yeah, I had a, um, a girlfriend that would want to go outside and have an umbrella whenever it was, uh, light outside because she wouldn't want to have her skin get damaged. I said, am I really going to put a fucking umbrella? Like, this is some kind of, like, Victorian royalty bullshit? And she said, yeah, and I said, okay, I'll do it. But, yeah crazy a parasol yeah no i immediately well, did are it. just born with old face you either have a baby face or a gordon ramsay face there's this meme of young gordon ramsay looking like yeah. old gordon ramsay pretending to be a young person technically we don't have a i feel like gordon ramsay is the biggest proof that working in a kitchen is stressful of what someone at every age should look like. That's the thing with these trends. When you ask strangers for their opinion, it's all opinion based. Mm -hmm. Someone who stopped making facial expressions to minimize wrinkles on their face and drinks from an anti aging Oh, this trend. actually happened. I have like a, a bit of a wrinkle on my forehead here because I did this so many times. I'm not even kidding you. I actually do. <laughs> it's bad. It is what it is. Yeah, for real. We'll think she's in her 50s, while someone who doesn't do any anti-aging activities will think, mm -hmm. ah, we are the same age. The majority of TikTok users tends to skew on the younger side. They might not have the best gauge of how people you discover older than a them. straw that prevents lip wrinkles. Ah. <laughs> are supposed to look and we're so used to seeing beautiful <laughs> ageless faces every day our standards of what someone should look like is whack if you don't look like a carbon copy of kylie jenner Wan Young or a mm -hmm. looks max henry cavill Wan Bin, prepare yourself for yeah. some nasty comments gen z who have also hopped onto this trend we're also getting a similar treatment but they i used to i used to have that hair whenever i was like a kid but even whenever i was a kid my hair was bad i actually have never had a full head of hair completely I went back, like, because my mom told me, like, she said you were balding ever since you were uh, two years old. And I said, what the, why would you fucking say that? Like, what the fuck? And then I went and I looked at the picture book and I said, oh my God. It's like, I'm getting spawn camped here. You know? 
is a problem. While millennials look older because of their outdated style and lack of sun protection, some of Gen Z have gone a little overboard with the beauty looks maxing and it made them look even older. Being exposed early on to influencers doing a day in my life- Oh where yeah, I've known girls that do this Botox shit on their face. I'll tell you one thing, is that every girl that I know that doesn't, I'm like, <laughs> you're not gonna, you know who you fooling? Like, what are you doing? What are you, the fuck are you doing? What are you doing this shit for? Go on their morning coffee, Botox and injectables run. Is making 10 year olds think, maybe I need to start my drunk elephant anti-aging routine. Instead yeah, yeah, because kids get into it because they think that if they get into it early, that it'll save them from aging. You, you like 12 year olds trying to want their parents to get Botox for them. Isn't that cute? Learning how to read. Rainbow fish. It slaps. 45? I get like, okay, maybe like late 20s, 30s. Nah, 45. 22, yeah. Shocker. When I first started TikTok and started making filler videos, yeah. like come get filler with me or Botox. I, I can see the problem right there. I saw this video before. I watched it. I used to get these hate comments all the time. There's just people on TikTok that absolutely hate cosmetic procedures and believe- You can see why. That you shouldn't get them. And again, I think it's a personal preference. Like if I want- You can get them if you want to get them, but I just don't really think it helps a whole lot and unless there's like something wrong with your face. I just don't think- don't, I don't think it really works. I think it only works in like somebody's uh, in, in like their head. It work like and if it works for you in your head and it gives you more confidence, then you should absolutely do it. Her eyebrows can't even move. To get filler, I feel like no one That's should a good point. stop you from getting filler because it's your own face. But people always told me that I look older, and I get it. I look older. I might act older. Um, a forty-five. I believe she's in her early 20s. Personally, That's I would bad. have guessed 27. To I wouldn't have. I would have guessed 41. She looks like one of those girls on, like, the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. That's what it reminds me of. Like, those girls on those reality TV shows. Yeah. Like a wine mom. Exactly. 38. But then again, this age range is so ambiguous, it's hard to pinpoint someone's exact age based on looks alone. I will say this angle mm -hmm. and lighting is not very flattering. All it takes is one bad shot of yourself for someone to run with it. Ooh. You need to cover your shoulders in oil and let these comments slide off like it was nothing. And just move on if you want to ask strangers how old you look. Trolls will literally sniff out people's insecurities to cause chaos. They'll make their profile picture a Shrek face and then comment on someone's selfie, Hi twin. <laughs> Fillers were originally made to restore the loss of facial volume. Yeah, that's true with anybody. As soon as people know that it gets to you, then everybody's going to start saying it and doing it. That's absolutely what happens. What happens when you start aging? Now they're normalized as a quick fix for things you can't change unless you get plastic surgery. Stop mm -hmm. by the clinic on a Wednesday afternoon and come out with fuller lips, higher nose bridge, sharper cheekbones. And sure, it'll look good at first, but filler takes a creepily long time to dissolve. It has this habit of visiting- You know what you should do if you feel like your face has problems is you should work out. Like if you work out, it will change the way that the skin on your face is. Now, the reason why nobody does that is because it takes effort and time. Now it's way easier to pay a $70 fee and have somebody inject uh, gasoline into your eyebrow so it can't move anymore. But people are too fucking lazy. And so they don't do that. It has work in it. Yeah, nobody wants to work out. Yeah, it, yeah, it's got work in the name, bro. That's a non-starter. What are you thinking? parts of your face for vacation i'm a like doctor and the issue is these procedures much more available now even nurse practitioners can do them uh i'm not surprised really i'm, I'm actually not yeah it, it's fucked man i wish that there was a way um like i don't know like wouldn't it be it would be kind of good if people had to like fill out something to like a i don't know like a am i in a good state of mind to get this done because i feel like a lot of people like it get they're pretty lucrative yeah of course they are right 
I mean, making people look younger is like what people want to have. It's like, I don't know. I just wish there was a way to like kind of filter people out to do this. They do if it's cosmetic. I know they do some cases, but not with all of them. Mental health is really important. Yeah, it is. A rich retired couple. When young faces that aren't even done growing gets injectables, things start to mush around. You're gonna end up with a randomized face shape that's older than your actual age. A yeah. lot of people were shocked at Kylie Jenner's age. When they saw pictures of her post filler, this is someone still in their 20s. The way some Gen Zs are styling themselves is making them look more mature. Now they have tutorials yeah. on the most optimal way to dress to looks max your appearance. And the girl comments, oh, I thought she was early 30s. I am 23. When back in the day, teens were just putting whatever on and guessing if it looks good or not. Okay, I saw this girl that said that Gen Z looks older than they are. How old do you think I am? First. If I had to say, I'm going to say 24. Like, how old? I'm about to turn 21. That's crazy. God damn. I feel like I still look like I'm 16. I don't know. The guesses are really all over the place. I mean, maybe you, uh, maybe you look the same whenever you were 16, but whenever you were 16, you look old as shit too. Like I had a friend of mine whenever he was 14, bro, like he had full facial hair, like his, he had like big fucking arms and <laughs> he was like, and, and like, I, I think that like he spawned in at 6'3". Like, he spawned in at 6'3", <laughs> and, and, like, that's just how it was. Like, even then, like, I remember, because, like, uh, I see him every once in a while nowadays, and, like, the funny thing is that at 14, he looked 35, and now at, like, I think he's, like, 34 something, uh, he still looks 35, basically, right? Maybe he's got a little bit of gray hair, but, like, that's it. Yeah, he's pretty much been the same. We all have our own standard of what we think people should look like for their age. Maybe it's better we keep that to ourselves, like most things. This guy went viral not too long ago when he said mm -hmm. that stress was the main reason for Gen Z's expedited aging. I'm Gen Z. Yeah. Get closer. I am Gen Z and nobody ever believes me. When my mom and I walk out in public, people think that my mom is my younger sister. This how old do I look trend, it's just fueling the fires of the millennial Gen Z war. We're all so busy calling each other old looking or cringe yeah. when we should actually be forming an alliance to take on Gen Alpha. Sorry if you're a kid watching this, it's just that suddenly about your vibes, they're off. Can't really. Re I think that I, I don't have a problem with like, I, I'm not a generation hater. I'm really not like I've never been a generation hater at all. I think the kids are going to be fine. It's just that, you know, growing up like everybody, like you think about how different it was whenever, like how many of you guys, let me ask you, how many of you guys actually grew up? And you went outside and you played in the park and you like played out maybe in the woods or something like that. And you had like an American uh, fucking like me. Yeah, yeah. Like we did that all the time. And I feel like a lot of the people, even friends that I know that didn't live like where I live, never had that experience at all. So like to me, the way that like a kid that was even somebody who's 25 now grew up in a profoundly different experience. It's weird for me to think that, like, I will be one of the last people that remembers what it was like before the internet. Isn't that crazy? Lay with you must be the lack of frontal lobe. Well, another random trend I wanted to look into yeah. some more. In the end, it's not a super serious thing. I think it's kind of silly when a 22 year old jump scares us with a 39 year old face, while a 50 year old <laughs> can say, How do you do, fellow kids? Oh, and God. Get away with it. I feel like we can all joke around with each other to an extent. Hey, if you have thick skin and you're actually curious about how others see you, if you really want to get roasted and don't ask people questions if you don't want the answer of helpful way. That's something on. you can do to your boyfriend. That's it. Xiao Hongshu. On Chinese Instagram, the netizens will be so blunt, you won't know if they're giving you advice or just being mean. Well, yeah. at least they're creative. And remember, this is what she looked like before. But after the perm, netizens said she looked like someone who's really good at making kimchi. 
The dynamic between generations is always so funny. You're a grown-ass adult. Stop fighting with minors and watching Harry Potter. Well, your teenage face looks like a good guest star on Real Housewives. Maybe the real how old- I guess like for me growing up on the internet, it was just normal for me to be in a voice call at like age 17 with a 14 year old, a 35, a 40 year old, and a 22 year old. And we're doing a dungeon. Like, I never even had a problem with this at all. Like, that's just the way it is. Do I look challenged? Yeah, oh, it, friends it's not really a big wedding. deal. Everyone's cringe and annoying, so we can't live in harmony. Anyone between the I ages. I will say, though, there is one thing that I fucking hate. And that is cringe, millennial, self-aware, ironic humor. I do think that people my age are the least, like, there is a, uh, um, like, a fucking, uh, like a, a, like a subspecies of them that examples, <laughs> you know, I got them. <laughs> I'm not going to say them, but I got them. I got a lot of them. But yeah, it's just, oh God, it's so fucking bad, man. Reddit humor? Yeah, basically Reddit humor. That's right. Of zero and 100 is all right in my books. But if you're 101, damn, you're still alive. I'll get you an Uber. The party's over. Don't forget yeah. to feed the YouTube algorithm some sunscreen by liking this video so it mm -hmm. stays ageless forever. Then I'll get to see you on your recommended the next time I post. No right. dementia or sunspots on my watch. Have a good day. Try not to be dumb and see you in the next one. Do you like? Yeah, I mean, like, Morning. the Welcome reason back. why I think it happens a lot is that people have, like, really bad, um, like diets and also it's genetics i think the big reason is more than anything it's just it's just fucking genetics like i've seen plenty of my friends that like i'm trying to think of all of my crackhead friends yeah i have crackhead friends i have one i'm not gonna say who but yeah they're like 30 31 and they look totally fine and they did drugs, doing coke all the time, like staying out constantly, like everything. Like you do every single thing wrong and it's totally fine. Is Jeff? Well, Jeff's in good shape. I mean, Jeff's a bodybuilder, right? And so like, I mean, he's obviously in good shape. But I mean, I'm not going to say which of my friends are crackheads, right? Because like it's not really the kind of thing that you say just out there until like after the fact but yeah I, I have plenty of friends that are like that smoking and drug use in general accelerates aging yeah but for some people uh it doesn't affect them really that's it social media stresses people out yeah i think there's that too you're right i've seen a lot of meth heads w at work i remember my dad and i were driving back uh from like uh, my high school because he picked me up from from high school and we saw uh my friend lowell and he was skateboarding down the road and my dad, uh, you know, this is back whenever he had the Mustang uh, that I have now. And we had the, because it's a convertible, so we had the top down. And he's like, oh, it's Lowell. How you doing, Lowell? You're looking great. And like Lowell, like Lowell's like 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, I don't know if he's really quite that tall then, but he was a really big guy. And so he had lost like 150 pounds, something like that. He's like, you lost a lot of weight. What have you been doing? And Lowell just says, fucking matter of fact, he's like, meth. He's like, oh, yeah. Great! <laughs> just took me home. <laughs> Never thought another thing of it. <laughs> he's like, yeah, we're well, still going to school. I said, yeah, he's still there sometimes, right? It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. No, no, my dad knew it wasn't a joke. Like, he knew it wasn't a joke. He would uh, wait in the parking lot and, like, kids would try to sell him drugs. Like, uh, and, and he was just like, no, I'm not gonna, not gonna buy any drugs. But, like, yeah, that was the kind of school I went to. <laughs> Kids? Yeah, of course. I mean, well, if you're a kid, like, think about how much money you can you can make selling drugs. Like, that's way more money you can make at, like, McDonald's or anything else. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, no, I mean, like, being a drug dealer, like, if, if you're a high school drug dealer, like, I mean, you really, like, you, you don't risk uh, going to jail for a really long time because of, like, you know, the laws, because you're not an adult. And also, you can make a lot of money. Now, you can get finessed easily, and, you know, like, there's things that can go against, go against you. So, like, I wouldn't recommend it. I'm not recommending selling drugs in high school. But there are people that I know that did it, and they made a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I got robbed twice. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing, right? 
is like the best thing to do. Well, I, all right, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, so yeah, this is a big problem that I think a lot of people have with aging. I think it's also like, uh, you know, social media fucks with people's opinions because they see the way that somebody airbrushes out, like the way they look and they're like, oh, this is the way, you know, this is the way I'm supposed to look or not. And it's like, okay, well, yeah, but like, if you see this person in real life, they don't really look like this. I think that's the case for a lot of people. Is one chance absolutely gonna be a drug dealer? I told me. To, I hope he tries to tell Asmon his story. Oh yeah, no doubt. Moving on to tech tone. Tech tone. I think tech tone looks fine. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, but yeah, I think the big thing is weight. Like, if you're fat, you're gonna look old, and if you're skinny, you probably are gonna look better. I think being out of shape is one of the worst things to happen to you. Like, if you're out of shape, it's going to age you probably more than genetics will. Another thing is uh, how to feel young. Another thing is how I abuse makeup and consume alcohol and drugs. Yeah, I mean, like, I never did drugs or anything like that. Didn't uh, drink alcohol. Uh, the reason why is it was expensive and I didn't have any money. Like, it's not like whenever I was a little kid, I always assumed that I'd grow up and be a drug addict. Like, whenever I was, like, seven, I just thought, like, that was just kind of the way that things were going to go. But, um, you know, I got older and I saw how expensive drugs were and I was like, I'm not going to spend. No, nah, it's too much. Right. Yeah, I just forgot. Yeah, I did. I just forgot. And uh, it's where being nostalgia 30s you usually do that when you're 60 to, to 80. Oh, God. And uh, spent 200 grand on alcohol. Yeah, I have a lot of friends that do that. That things turned out well for you. Yeah, uh, my dad said that it was a fa it's a family tradition to be an alcoholic. And so, uh, you know, he's like, well, you know, you're not like really following through with it. And I'm like, well, yeah, because it's just expensive and Dr. Pepper tastes better. I mean, if 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 look, if alcohol tasted as good as Dr. Pepper, I would drink alcohol, but it doesn't. And Dr. Pepper and alcohol doesn't taste as good as just Dr. Pepper. Like, I'm sorry, it doesn't. So I'm not going to drink it. If water tasted like Dr. Pepper, I'd never drink water. Or I'd never drink Dr. Pepper. I just like the taste, man. Mm. Jack and Coke take the stress away and taste good? No, it doesn't. Coke tastes better. Like, do you really think, like, growing up with all the stories that I tell about my crackhead friends that they have not tried to get me to drink and do drugs... I've tried a lot of stuff. I don't like it. It's it's just not something that I'm interested in. It's a waste of my fucking money, and it's a waste of my time. Oh, well, peer pressure? Well, no. No, it's not really peer pressure. It's like, I mean, if I tried out drugs, it's like, I mean, you know, how do you know that you don't like it unless you try it? Well, I try it. I don't like it. it doesn't feel good. And alcohol just becomes brain poison for a while. Yeah, it's just not for me. Stopped it years ago. I'm old as fuck and 36. Yeah, yeah. It's healthy to experiment. Did you try gay sex yet? No, I mean, I've had guys grab my dick, but like that wasn't really... I mean, it's not really a big deal. And it wasn't really consensual. It was like kind of an accident in a lot of cases. Yeah, no, I mean, it's just boys being boys. Yeah, it, it's not a big deal. Like, everybody all, like, why does everybody get so weird about that? Like, they think that, like, if somebody grabs your dick, it's going to, like, turn you into gay? Or are you going to get, like, converted into gay? I don't think that's the way it works, guys.